Welcome to Fueling Your Legacy, hosted by Samuel Knickerbocker. Each week, we expose the faulty foundational mindsets of the past and rebuild a new, stronger foundation essential in creating your legacy. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Today, I want to talk about something that's really been on my mind and, and focused on um, what, what we can become. Now, there's an old quote that says, where there's no vision, the people perish. There's also a quote on my wall that I keep on my wall, and it says, vision, the best way to see your future is to create it. Now, I think both are true, and both can be true, but um, what's important for me is I've spent a lot of my life trying to create my vision, trying to create my future, and sometimes I've been successful, sometimes I haven't been successful, and the breakdown comes into like, okay, what, what is different when I'm successful and what is different when I'm not successful? Um, when I was very, very young, about six years old, I so badly wanted to be on a soccer team and I had no cleats, I had no nothing. And my sister, she had some old baseball cleats. I don't know, I don't know where she got them. But as you, the difference in a baseball cleat versus a soccer cleat is there's a little thing on the front that digs in so you can run faster. Well, in soccer, that's not allowed. So we had to shave that off. Um, did everything that I could possibly do to be on this team. And I was grateful to be on this team. But one thing that stuck out to me about this team was the coach. Um, this coach, I idolized. I thought he was the best. I thought he was the only person who knew how to play soccer. And... Whether that's true or not, I'm sure it's not true. But even from that moment, um, all the other teams I played on throughout my time, I always let, went back and I compared all of my other coaches to him. Now, it probably wasn't uh, kind to my previous or to my coaches after him, but I think the reason that that happened was his charisma, the ability to sell the vision, to sell the dream of what it would be like when we won, what would it feel like when we won. And that leadership skill is so crucial um, in any team environment, but even when you're not on a team and it's just you, um, I think that sometimes we don't, don't credit the me, myself, and I team enough. Um, we need a team leader, and sometimes that can come from inside of us, but a lot of times it's necessary for us to go outside of ourselves and get a coach. I put off getting a coach uh, that I had to pay for for a long time. I was ah, I'll just take a cheap one. I'll take somebody who will tell me the things for free. I'll take what I can get from books and learn and all those things, what I ended up with was a wealth of knowledge. I've got tons and tons of information inside my head. Um, I know a lot of things and I go to these coaches now and I'd say, okay, what should I do? And then they tell me exactly what I know I should do. And so I think, oh, well, I, why would I pay for a coach? I think the magic of paying for a mentor or getting a mentor who really believes in you is going to hold you accountable is the accountability factor, right? When somebody is vested in helping you become better. And when you've put some money on the line, you've given up a part of who you, uh, or, or that, that time and effort it took to earn that money, you've then invested that money back into yourself and said, look, I value myself enough to put this money down so that I can get results. Okay, that is what a mentor or a coach is for. Um, another experience was after I had served a two year LDS mission, then I came home and I wanted to make sure that all of my past, all of my childhood, all of the the bad parenting practices that my parents had, had I guess, imposed or I was raised with, um, all of those, I wanted to make sure that those weren't going to show up in my relationship. Now, I didn't feel like they would. I had no reason to think that they would, but I wanted to make sure. And so I went to a therapist. I went and dealt with all of that and went and dug back into my life. Sometimes it was painful. There were things that I did learn about myself, things that I didn't know, things that I didn't even remember. I had blocked out so much of my my early memories because they were just too painful. They were too painful to actually deal with. And in many cases, maybe it wouldn't have been safe for me to go and deal with those all by myself. And that's why having a coach or a therapist or somebody there who can walk you through the process of experiencing your past, going and reassigning a different identity and helping you move past that so you can progress in your life. That's so important. And if we are not taking advantage of those types of people in our lives because we're too scared or it costs too much or whatever the case is, I promise you, and this is something I, I feel absolutely um, able to guarantee and promise, it is costing you more not to get that stuff cleared up in your life than it will ever cost you to get it cleared up in your life. And that's what I had to 
learn and experience was what, what's the cost if I don't change? What happens if I don't improve? And my current mentor, my current coach right now, he was able to walk me through that process. Although I already like conceptually knew the process, I knew how he was interacting. I knew the process of what he was doing for me and, and what he was walking me through. Even though I knew all that con um, conceptually, I hadn't experienced it and I hadn't allowed myself to experience it. Um, probably in large part because I was scared of experiencing that. I was scared of being that vulnerable. But the, the way to grow is to open yourself up, be vulnerable, and allow a coach to hold you accountable and really go and reach your full potential. Because I promise you that that coach believes in you. That coach wants you to succeed. And a lot of times that coach's uh, belief in you is more than you want in yourself. I know for myself as, as a coach to help people um, on the path for – for me, I definitely um, just, I'm sitting here on the edge of my seat. Come on, please just do this. I know it's going to benefit your life. And yet so many people, they won't, they think, ah, if, I, if I go and do that, I'm going to be scared or I'm going to get rejected or I'm going to have to be vulnerable. I'm going to have to open myself up to all these potential um, ways I can get hurt. But in reality, they're just holding themselves back. And so one thing that I've learned when it comes to mentorship is it's so important for me to always have a mentor in my life, to have somebody who's always challenging me. And as I'm always growing myself, then I can always be leading somebody as well. And um, there's, it goes back to another thing that the teacher always learns the lesson more than the student, right? But the reason it's so valuable to be a teacher or to teach and, and to help other people on the path is it helps you recognize the areas where maybe you're a little bit inconsistent with that principle yourself. And then you can become better as you're teaching other people. It's this constant, ever engaging um, de development and growth. And we have to operate from that position if we really want to create the legacy that we want. And when, so when it comes to creating your legacy, when it comes to, okay, this is my dream, this is my passion, how am I actually gonna get there? When, when you start thinking about, okay, is this possible? Can I do it? What do I need to do? Go get a coach. Because if you go get a coach, they're gonna give you the step-by-step play by play, and they're going to help you accomplish that. And it, they're going to help you accomplish your legacy. Most coaches are not going to try and sell you into their legacy. They have their own legacy, but they want to help you accomplish your legacy because you have something of value. And you have experiences that nobody else has experienced, and they want to help you get, out, get them out to, to the world. And as you allow a coach to do that, as you allow a mentor to really – help you accomplish those things, then you're going to see some significant changes in your life that you probably didn't ever actually think were possible. And I'm excited then for you to experience those and then share those experiences as well. So hopefully that helped you guys today. Um, again, please like, rank, review. Um, and also, if, if you can, leave comments here, have a discussion and share this this video with other uh, friends on, on Facebook or on Instagram. This is, this is stuff that has really changed my life, and I, I doubt it. I put it off for a long time. I procrastinated it. But as soon as I was willing to step into it, it changed um, everything I did and how I saw others, how I uh, showed up in the world. So I really want other people to be able to see this. And so please um, go there and, and engage there uh, in the comment section, like, um, share any way that you feel comfortable doing uh, is much appreciated. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us today. If what you heard resonated with you, please like, comment, and share on social media. Tag me so I can give you a shout out on the next episode. And thanks to all those who have left a review. It helps spread the message of what it really takes to build a legacy that lasts. Catch you next time on Fueling Your Legacy.